How am I looking? Okay. Hi everybody. Today I'm going Hi everybody! Today I'm going to be making a special soap requested by a lady named Jamie. Hi Jamie! And Jamie found me at the farmer's market about a year and a half ago and we made her a special soap without castor oil because her family is allergic to castor oil and she contacted me again and requested another um, loaf of this soap. So we're going to make that today. Um, I actually have already made it, and this is the soap here. And this soap is um, a vegan soap, um, which I usually use um, lard or tallow in my hot process for fluidity, but you'll see that this soap also has a good fluidity. And I'd like to offer you the recipe in percentages so that you too can make this soap. So let's do that now. So I used olive oil, coconut oil, apricot kernel oil, and shea butter. In the olive oil I used 35%, the coconut oil I used 30%, and the apricot kernel oil I used 25%, and shea butter at 10%. So if you put that into soap calc and come up with a, an, a, an amount, you'll find how much water and lye to use, and I'll leave that to you. In the meantime, come along with me and we'll make this white soap without castor oil. Hi everybody! Today I'm making a hot process soap, a special soap for Jamie. She orders this loaf of soap that I make for her because she and her family are allergic to castor oil. So there's no castor oil in this. And what do I have in it? Where is that recipe? I have shea butter. I have apricot kernel oil. I have olive oil. I have coconut oil. And that's it. And it's going to be one loaf of soap. And we're going to go ahead and get started. And this is very simple. No scent, no color, no castor oil. That's it. And I'm doing 38% of my oils, of my uh, live oils, and 5% super fat, just like a regular soap cow default. And so we'll get this to a medium trace, and we will cook it and get in the mold. Very simple. Very nice. This isn't my usual larger size crock pot. I don't know what size is this one. I think this is a six quart. The others are eight quart.
guys, I brought you back. Just wanted to show you. It's been about five minutes and it's starting to cook. So I just wanted to show you. Okay. Okay guys, it's been about eight or nine minutes and here's where we're at. So it's coming along. I like to wait until all this white is cooked. Because if I stir it, I end up sometimes getting white chunks in the soap that just don't do anything except stick out and I want that whole thing cooked and we'll wait and I'll bring you back once that's all cooked. Okay, it's been another five minutes and I just wanted to test and see where we were. So I think it's all cooked here, yep. So it's not completely done yet when you see all this white. It should go translucent. This is like we had the applesauce stage at the beginning when it was folding over. This looks like mashed potatoes with the white, you know, it needs to go translucent. So I'm going to turn my heat off and the amount of heat that I have in my crock pot should be able to finish cooking this and we'll give it another five minutes and we'll see what it looks like. And just for fun, let's do a phenolphthalein test and see what our pH is. Alright. Put that back on. That. And I have the phenolphthalein solution that I've been using. And I got that on Amazon. So we'll open it up. And get some out and put it on our soap and you can see it's just about done but the pink is indicating it needs to go a little bit more so we'll go a little bit more and of course we want to throw this out so i'll bring you back in a few okay it's been about three or four minutes not very long so i thought we'd take a look and see where our soap is at need to stir it some more to see it's starting to to gel you can see some of the um, soap here is getting translucent and some is still that white so we'll give it a mix and it's still a little mashed potato-y but it's getting there And next time we look at it, it could be translucent. We'll give it another pH test. And we'll see if we can get this in the mold. Bring you back. Hi everybody, we're back. It's been about five more minutes. Let's do another pH test on our soap here. And it's you don't see that white anymore, so pretty much it's all gone translucent. Let me see, I gotta move this closer. You can see how that's translucent. So let's see where we are with pH. We'll put a little bit on our paper towel here. I'll open this container. And I don't want this to be going in our soap so here it is and you can see we don't have any of the pink anymore so this soap is done throw that away put the phenol phthalein solution away and I found if you use that phenol phthalein sometimes that gets on my glove and that um, when I try to do it again and I pick up the paper it just gets um, I get some of this older soap and phenolphthalein on the back of the paper and when I put the new soap on it it picks up what's on my glove so I had to rinse off my glove pretty good so let's get this in the mold let's see can you see that oh, pretty good so here we go and we'll just Get this all in the mold and 
it will be ready to go in two weeks. We will cut it in a day or two. And uh, I'll bring you along for the cut. Of course, there's not a lot to see because it's pretty much just white soap, which is what I call it, white soap. But Jamie likes it a lot. And hi, Jamie, if you're watching, this is your soap. It's wonderful. What a pleasure it is to make this for you. Get this all in here. We wanted to fill this mold completely up. Get a good portion of good sized bars here. We will be cutting them one inch wide with the one inch wide soap cutter I got from Essential Depot. Which is quite the sturdiest mold I've ever had. I mean, cutter I've ever had. It's just wonderful. So, this portion looks perfect. So, I had 30, 48 ounces of oils when I figured out my batch for this particular mold and it looks like it's pretty much perfect. Now we'll have to bang it down. And this spoon isn't going to get it all. We'll have to use the spatula. smoother top so let me bang this down and I'll bring you right back pull this out of the way okay it's pretty fluid so it went right down and we'll just give it a little tap in that's like perfect look at that couldn't have judged that better if I tried. Okay, guys, we'll be back for the cut for this white soap made without castor oil. Hi, everybody. We're ready to cut this, and I thought you'd like to see me unmold it. We'll give you a little better view here. And these molds are just amazing from Essential Depot. They come out of this nice wire basket very easily. And what I do is I just pull away the silicone from the soap. I flip it upside down, give it a little press. Maybe a lot of press. Okay, here it comes. And it slides right out, nice and clean. And there's the soap. So back in the molds and the frame. We'll wash that up. We'll bring our cutter into view so you can see. And this is a very simple white soap, like I said, made for Jamie and her family. They're allergic to castor oil, so this does not have castor oil. As I said, but it does have a little bit of organic sugar in it for bubbles. And let's see if we are lined up. Looks pretty good. And we'll give it a cut. And we'll just give you a look. So, nice white soap. A little rough on the top. Nice good big size. And, uh, and they're pretty much all the same, so, you know, we'll clean up the edges, of course. And let this cure for about two weeks. And we'll send it off to Jamie and her family to 
toward the end of January. And you'll notice that it has a little curve to it. So what's happened when it cooled is the sides cooled faster than the middle. So these stayed up and this went down. This happens all the time in my hot process, but yeah, it gives you a nice handle to hold. So very nice, very plain, very simple, basic, lovely soap. So thanks for watching, guys. God bless. You have a great new year, and we'll see you in the next video. Subscribe and hit the bell if you'd like to see more videos. I'll be doing some sulfur soap next, and uh, thanks for watching. God bless.